All right, so let's go ahead and get into some more fresh EDC content, but this one is going to be for all of my minimalists out there who don't like carrying a bunch of crap with them when they're on their way out the door. Now, that's something that I've been trying to embrace a little bit more. So I said, you know what? I have some new products here, some that are going to be very minimal that I've been trying out. I've really been cutting down on wallet size, phone sizes, even when it comes to my watches. My, I've been cutting down to the bare minimum so I don't have bulky pockets, don't have to carry sling bags, and different things like that when I'm at the house. So I have about five six accessories right here that's gonna be for my minimalists out there so hopefully you can get that little minimalist itch you go ahead and take a shot every time i say minimalist and we'll see if you got some products here that you like so the first thing that we got to start off with of course iphone 15 pro max it's a big footprint not really a minimal type device well kind of is because it's boring but when it comes to the case on the minimal side of things, I mean, it's really hard to beat the, the arc pulse for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, I know some of you were looking like this, like, T, wait a minute. Why would I put that thong case on my iPhone 15 Pro Max? And I get it. A lot of people, you know, this is subjective. A lot of some people like this case. Some people don't. If you want to call it a case, we'll just keep calling it a thong. Hopefully, this channel does not get demonetized. But when it comes to this right here, it basically provides you the feel that you get. You get your feel of your iPhone back. A lot of us, we buy these we buy these cases we buy these for retail when we're talking about these devices such as an iphone you don't really get to feel the body lines of course we like to hold our iphone's hips these naked titanium hips we like to hold them so you'll be able to feel that again when you're talking about this arc pulse case and it basically is a two-part case which is going to be made out of aluminum they come in a few different colorways you're going to have your blue you're going to have your gold which is really a stunning colorway i'll be sure to pop some b-roll of it very nice colorway and you get your silver and you get a, a matte black. So you have different colorways that matches whatever iPhone that you have. And this is going to be the Titan Gray, which I feel goes best with the natural titanium. Two-part case, as you see, is kind of pressure. So it's held on by pressure. So you basically slide it up here. And even with this case, and I have thrown this thing around, go check my full review of the Arc Post case. I will be sure to pop it above. Link it down below. I chuck this thing on my kitchen table and not my kitchen table, my hardwood kitchen floor. And I don't, no damage. No damage happened. You know, I was shot because I was a little bit scared you know but it, the case held it down the case did its thing of course you may get some scuffs marks you know this is going to be like a high polished aluminum so of course when you set it down on certain areas you might get some surface scratches but I feel like that's the aluminum patina so the same patina that we get when it comes to other cases that's what you get when it comes to aluminum so you're able to get that protection on your corners everywhere where it matters even when it comes to front protection you're going to get a lip so you can set it down not have to worry about touching the screen flipping over on the back of course your cameras are protected you don't got to worry about those being an issue i feel like it checks all the all the dots checks all the boxes when it comes to a case and giving you that protection and it keeps keep things minimal you can see the color of your iphone and it's a conversation starter man when i run this case when i go to work go in the office and i put this thing down on the desk somebody comes up to ask me a question like t wait a minute before we start talking about networks and it stuff what is that case you got on your phone and it always starts a conversation man and i always love that when it comes to accessories a little bit something different so if you're looking for something super minimal and you're able to still get that protection and is an eye catcher can, can start that conversation. Look no further than the Arc Pulse case. Absolutely love it for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now there was one side of the minimalist products that I never thought I would indulge in because I'm a dad, but I don't carry the fat dad wallets. Do you know what I'm talking about? The one that has the permanent butt print in your jeans. I don't carry those type of wallets, man. I carry a little thin wallet, but that holds tons of cards. So one thing that I've been trying to do is reduce the amount of cards that I have in my pocket, in my wallets. When I go out the house, I only need my license. I only need my credit card of choice. A huge shout out to the channel sponsor Andar for the Andar mag wallet for the 15 pro max or any of the iphones that has mag save capability so this is going to be your peak minimum wallet as you can say right here and this is going to mimic very similar to the apple leather so don't think you're out there getting a bigger wallet or anything like that the size is, is it, just about the same when it comes to that. Now, this only is going to hold two cards, but in my opinion, there are plenty of people who love the Apple leather case, but if you want it in an, in an assortment of colors, I'll throw B-roll up here. You can get an Andar Aspen, which is probably one of the best leather cases out there in the market. Match it up directly with the color mag wallet that you have to give yourself that extra sauce. But with me using the Art Post right here, it works just fine with this wallet. You get the little Andar branding right here. You just push your cards 
up from the bottom, pop them out. You have a good sturdy wallet so it's not moving on all crazy. Of course, if you move it and shake it and go wow, yes, it may move a bit, but you're talking about that full grain oil wax leather and you know we got to hit you with a smell because it smells like a fresh pair of boots. Okay, shout out to Andor for this, man. So the Mag Wallet, definitely check them out if you're into the minimal thing, okay? If you wanna just have this combo when you're out the door, you grab your phone, you grab your wallet, Hell, you can forget everything else that you got when you're talking about on your person. But if you're looking for a minimal wallet, check out the Andar Mag Wallet and the assortment of colors that you can get for this thing. It's just the icing on the cake. So make sure you hit the link down below, but be sure to use code TECHT to take 15% off that order because you're going to need some discounts with all the stuff that I'm going to show you today because you just might run your bill up, man. So Andar Mag Wallet, love it if you are looking for that minimal style wallet. Now, keeping things going when it comes to the MagSafe train, this this one you have seen in probably my best MagSafe accessories video, but I had to do it on this minimal video because this thing literally is the perfection of being minimal and that is going to be the moth phone stand. I love this little product. I'm kind of new to moth accessories. I've never really used them a lot like that, but when I say it's minimal is because if I'm not using my wallet, say I'm going places, I might need more cards with me that I cannot fit in my Andor Mag wallet. Then I will run something like this on the back of my phone and this gives me the ability, basically when I say this, when I leave up at the house to go to work every day, this is what I have. I'm at a desk job. You know you can be bored as hell sitting at a desk. So of course, I'm gonna be watching YouTube and I don't like just sitting my phone down, propping my phone up, up. no, 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 no. Make sure you get yourself a nice stand. But this one right here is a mall phone stand. It's out of the way when you don't need it, being super thin when it's attached to your phone. But when you need it, you can either use it as a function like this. You can pop your things up, watch your phone like that, or you can rotate it. All right, let's rotate it like this. You can prop your phone like this, which this is the way that I mostly keep mine when I'm in the office. Keep it up in this landscape mode, watching YouTube, watching DDE. Y'all let me know one of y'all favorite YouTube channels down below. But this is the exact way that I, I tend to use it. If you want to take it a step further, if you want to keep it straight up, you can do like this and you can pop this out down here and you can prop it up like this. You can prop it up even higher, something like that. You know, it is so many different ways you can form this thing. If you're a vlogger, say, hey, you vlogging some stuff then boom, you can do it just like that and just vlog your content, do something like that. You want to record yourself walking, you might be on FaceTime or something like that. That's something that you can do. So this Moth Invisible Stand, and I'm going to be real with you, I didn't even cover all of the positions that this thing can do. It can do some positions. And yes, we still talking about phone accessories. Get your mind out the gutter. It can do a bunch of positions to hold you down when it comes to your MagSafe needs for your device right here. So the Moth Phone Stand, Tripod Stand, love it because it's so thin, but yet so versatile when it comes to your viewing angles of your phone with propping this up. You go out to eat, go out with your son. I'm a big component. When I go out with my son, I let him watch my phone if I want to have his big iPad at the table. And this does just perfect for him. He knows how to work this. He knows how to prop that phone up and watch Bluey, if you know what I'm talking about. So the Moth phone stand, definitely check it out. Love this little product right here. Made out of that vegan leather, but you know we like the cow butt when it comes to leather. AirPods, if you know me, you know I cannot leave out the house without them, but you guys know that I was a huge fan of the ESR Orbit Hybrid. I always have to slow down when I say that word. I was a big fan of them, but let's be real, that case is bulky as hell. It definitely adds a little bit of chunk when it comes to your device. But these right here, I say, you know what? ESR has some other great products out there when it comes to their cases. Let me go ahead and try another one. And this soft ESR case with the magnets has been one that has been on my phone and I'm impressed with it. It's not perfect, but I think it does the job good when you're talking about wanting some thin protection and yet still giving you that magnetic capability, which a lot of AirPod cases do not do. So this is gonna be the ESR soft case they definitely have some tape that goes up so it can keep that top lid on you can see that cut out for that light you get your cutouts on the bottom you get a little lanyard port right here since the lanyard is covered on this side and flipping it over on the back of course you're going to get your pairing button and you get your magnets we gotta love that because say for an example let's just show you what it does i mean this is magnets you know that's that's the magnet so you can prop these on a stand you can prop these on a charger when i charge them i don't charge my airpods every day so i charge these on the same stand that i'm charging I'm holding up the invisible stand by moth. I'm charging these on the same stand that I charge my phone with, and that just makes it perfect. So nice, thin, out the way, still has that mag save capabilities that I feel all AirPod cases at this point should have. All right, AirPod cases, if you're out there, 
forget that put some magnets in your mess it just makes it that much more sweet keep that cost down but this is going to be the esr of course airpod pro 2's esr soft case with the magnets love this case esr products you already know are great and well they will they won't hit hit your pocket as bad as i hit your pocket when you watch my channel now this next one is one that i'm forcing myself to try to use all right because when it comes to watches you find yourself like me who uses the Apple Watch Ultra day in and day out and it just replaces your everyday watches unless me and my lady are going out to dinner, stepping out somewhere nice and of course I put one of my nice timepieces on because I cannot be looking like spy kids with my Apple Watch Ultra on. So I said, you know what? I have a watch that I bought a long time ago when I was trying to break that curse of the Apple Watch Ultra being so good. I want to use Samsung devices. I want to use my S24 Ultra. Let me get a neutral watch. Let me just try to start leaving the Apple Watch Ultra at home. And that's exactly what I've done with my Casio G-Shock GAB2100. I think that's the name of it when it comes to the whole name of this bad boy. So I love this thing. This is going to be a perfect everyday watch. You can go grab this off Amazon. Super light. You're going to get shock resistance. The battery life on this thing is something that I love. I've owned this thing probably for a year and a half or so. Never replaced the battery. The battery can go from 7 to 8 18 months depend on how you use it. So if this detects that you're not using it, it will automatically cut off. And as soon as you pick it back up, of course, it's power with solar, solar power. So when you go out in the sun, it basically kind of charges it back up and it will pop on, figure out what time it is and boom, your back is up and running. So you do not have to worry about a watch. Of course, when you cut the lights off real quick, if you're in a dark environment, you can pop that right there, read your time. It just gives you a real little quick little brief check of your time when you hit that button right there. You can check that time, very brief. I love that about it. And overall, I mean, this is just a perfect everyday watch. It had, you can have Bluetooth functionality. You can plug this up to your phone, change settings. I mean, I really love this thing. Comes in a few different colorways, very light when you were talking about an overall watch. And it kind of takes some of the stress away of always looking at your phone. When you use a non-smart watch, you kind of get disconnected. And that's kind of what I like when it comes to these products. So if you're looking for a nice everyday, man, the Casio G-Shock GAB2100 and all of that is going to be a major choice. I feel like it's the perfect everyday watch for someone who don't really want to use anything too sporty, but yet want to get the job done. You can get the time, everything like that. Very very, very clean watch. Love this little watch. And I'm actually thinking about picking this thing up in a few different colors. Last but not least has to be my key organizer. You know, you guys know I love these little things. I wish I can almost start a whole channel talking about key organizers, but this didn't change. All right. The only thing changed is the color of it, which I feel like this just looks dope as hell. But this is going to be the key port pivot 2.0. This is probably one of the best key organizers that I found. Just simple fact of the design that they come with all of the accessories that they come with. Of course, I have my keys in here. Here. I have all my keys, but yeah, you can have a little tool in here, a little bottle opener. You can pop a beer open. If you're out there to France, I just need to pop a beer. You can do that. Wedge tools, not you know, letter cutters. This thing does it all when it comes to little multi-tools, and this is just one of the multitude of items that you can include in your key organizer. I feel like everybody at this point, nobody should have the janitor, middle school janitor keys dangling. Mrs. Davis. Okay, I'm not, I'm not saying all Miss Davises are, are genders. At least mine was named Miss Davis. But I feel like everybody should have a key organizer to keep things very small, keep things minimal, and keep your keys together. This also cuts down on having a whole bunch of unnecessary keys. If I had my other keys, I'll just have a bunch of mess jingling up there, the keys that I don't even use. But this right here keeps it confined to just the keys that you want. Strap this on your keychain. This is going to be the iridescent colorway. I absolutely love this thing. Before this one, I had the titanium, which one I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen before. The titanium one is held up very well so these are just two of the colorways that you can choose from you go to their website choose whatever you want i like this iridescent one because this one just i don't know it gives a certain sauce when you were talking about your keys and i love the iridescent burnt titanium ish type of thing that's going on so the key port pivot 2.0 I don't really see myself moving away from a different key organizer. If there are some better ones out there in the market, you guys let me know because I would love to get into dedicated videos talking about these key organizers. So we have our key organizer. We have our iPhone 15 Pro Max paired with that Arc Pulse. We have our Casio GAB2100 G-Shock. All right. We got our Moth tripod stand, which is going to be that. We got our AirPods, AirPod Pro surrounded by that ESR. And if you want to keep things minimal, pop it right there. We have the Andar Mag Wallet. So hopefully you watch this video. Some of you found something that will fulfill that itch when it comes to your minimalist type things, man. But if you want to watch a video talking about, hmm, let's see, my best mag safe accessories, I'll be sure to pop that video right here.